Remember when your mom would force you to take your younger brother to hang out with the cool kids? Climbing the social ladder on your elder brother's back is a century-old gimmick that every younger brother has perfected. Not Mr. Beast, though. He's the sole reason why his older brother, Mr. Bro, has a YouTube career. Well, somewhat of a career after a massive YouTube failure. So what went wrong? Let's break it down. First up, the fault in Mr. Bro's branding. Many successful YouTube personalities have paved the way for their siblings, friends, partners, cousins, and everyone they ever said hi to in high school. Zoe Sugg gave a push to her brother Joe Sugg's career. We saw Marzia getting involved in the YouTube business after getting support from PewDiePie, the king of YouTube. You have the classic example of the Paul brothers. All of these personalities might have started their career on the back of a famous and already established YouTuber. But here's the thing, they were also able to create an empire of their own. And that only happens when you set your channel differently than whoever played their part in getting you to watch time. Giving a kickstart to a YouTube channel is like ABC for big content creators. Just tweet subscribe to XYZ and boom, the new channel is blooming with a million subscribers. Mr. Beast is no different. When his older brother, Mr. Bro, started his YouTube channel, he had all the resources he needed. Come on, if Mr. Beast is asking his 90 million subs to subscribe to his brother, what do you expect? And his subscribers didn't disappoint. Within hours, Mr. Bro was awaiting his 1 million golden play button. Now, that's not exactly fair to the small channels that struggle with even hitting that first 1K. Things went south for him when his channel's branding was a replica of his older brother, Mr. Beast. Starting off, the common Mr. in their YouTube names is just off-putting. To make things worse for himself, Mr. Bro had almost the same header and profile picture as his brother. And when he started to even speak like his brother out of nowhere, that was the last straw for his new subscribers. If Mr. Bro's creativity runs its course up to choosing a unique YouTube name, then his YouTube future isn't too bright. And oh, he isn't subtle about riding off on his brother's back. Ever heard of how fortune favors the bold? Looks like Mr. Bro is playing in the same territory. After getting derailed with copycat accusations, you'll expect him to go easy on Mr. Beast is my brother flex. But nope, if you're going to subscribe to his channel right after watching this video, you know, just to see what the hype's about, consider this a fair warning. Other than blatantly copying his brother's channel's aesthetics, Mr. Bro might have the most cringe YouTube bio of all time. We'll spare you the effort here. His bio says, I am Mr. Beast's brother, hence the name. I know, right? I am super creative, haha. -ha. Well, might as well bury his channel six feet under, haha. -ha. As soon as Mr. Beast started to promote his brother on YouTube and Twitter, many fans were not really into this particular YouTube bio. We really can't stop him from supporting his brother online or otherwise, but after that low-budget effort in the channel bio, fans were confused, and it makes sense. Why subscribe to a news channel all over again if we're going to experience a recycled version of Mr. Beast? So, can we blame Mr. Beast for allowing his brother to capitalize on his name? Believe it or not, Mr. Bro wasn't doing all bad on YouTube when he first started his career. Some of his videos were super engaging, and even though you could see the touch of his brother's channel on his style, it was still tolerable, until he disappeared from his channel for 10 months. Let's go back in time, shall we? Mr. Mr. Beast indeed introduced his brother to his fan base by making his appearance on his main channel a recurring thing. CJ, aka Mr. Bro, will partake in many challenges designed by his brother, and it was obvious that he wasn't planning on limiting his YouTube career to guest appearances. When Mr. Beast introduced his brother as a rookie content creator, he promised that CJ will have access to everything to kickstart his career. That meant having a team of five editors, a warehouse, an office, thumbnail designs, and important equipment. Basically, everything you need to land those million and more subscribers. Not to mention, he was getting free promotion as well on all of the platforms owned by Mr. Beast and Co. So the chances of anything going wrong for Mr. Bro seemed slim. Yet, he missed one very important memo. Don't copy your brother. Here's the thing. Building your unique brand as an inexperienced YouTuber isn't an easy feat. You're always going to leech on popular YouTube trends and challenges. Remember when Bethany Moda would single-handedly give newbies video ideas every single week? But hey, there's always a fine line between copying a content creator or using them as an inspiration. And that's where CJ completely messed up his game. The dawn of Mr. Bro began, and the rise of low budget of his younger brother was in order. Next up, what's wrong with his content? Okay, if you want to see whatever Mr. Bro is doing on his channel, just watch any Mr. Beast video twice. Essentially the same thing. Mr. Beast is popular for the huge giveaways, let's play, and challenge content. Now, such genres are overused and overdone, but he also tapped into the expensive stunts videos that were new to his audiences. All of his content is some combination of reaction videos, guest appearances, and internet challenges. Everything you need to engineer virality. That seems to work for the YouTube mogul who's spending tons of capital to make one video work. So when Mr. Bro started to model himself according to the same ideas, his audiences got bored. From the thumbnail to the video's main concept, he was just cloning his brother. And that's when any YouTuber's nightmare started to haunt him. As Mr. Beast was linking his brother's videos to everything he was uploading, his subscribers were bound to at least click on them. Yet, a few minutes into the video, the realization started to hit them. Oh, we've seen this film before. So even when a lot of people were clicking on Mr. Bro's videos, they didn't have 
have any reason to give him the watch time to cut even. Now, let's talk about Mr. Bro's social standing. As far as interactive internet audiences go, they can either make or break your career. For him, it was more breaking than making a career. The YouTube market is already very saturated. There's pressure to do something new every single day. So, if you're luring your audiences into watching a video that your brother has already monetized on months ago, there's a huge chance they're gonna slap you with that one star. And worse, they're gonna do it on Reddit. Whenever Mr. Bro would upload a video that held any similarity to Mr. Beast, there'd be a new frenzy on Reddit. Threads breaking down all of the movements that were copied from Mr. Beast's old content would get super popular with thousands of upvotes. If you're into giving YouTubers a considerable watch time, you'll know Reddit is a great equalizer for content creators. Whatever is liked on Reddit stays, and whatever is memed, well, it finds its way to the memedom. So, before you could even make up your mind to watch a Mr. Beast video, some person on this news aggregation platform has already changed your mind. Even if you were clicking on Mr. Beast's brother's video, you hardly had any reason to stay. So, did Mr. Beast take a step back? There were also a few moments where Mr. Beast had to separate himself from his brother's brand. Let's assume that there was a Mr. Bro brand in the first place. Okay, we don't mean to be harsh, but the question stands. Do we blame the YouTube mogul for allowing his brother to clone him? Well, even some of his diehard fans seem to agree. Whenever he seemed to support his brother, the YouTube comments looked like some combination of who asked and don't know don't care and not interested. Now, he's a supportive brother, but not at the expense of his own career. We don't condone internet bullying, but it's not wise to downplay the power of the dragon culture, and it's hard to deny that some hardcore Mr. Beast fans have derailed his brother's channel in the worst way imaginable. Finally, the missing case of Mr. Bro. We aren't exactly sure why CJ stopped uploading all of the sudden. Maybe the criticism got to him, or he went on a retreat to the Himalayas to rediscover himself. Either way, a 10-month hiatus is lethal for any YouTuber rookie. Before you call us out on promoting hustle culture, here's the thing. The YouTube algorithm only seems to support your channel when you're feeding it with new content or, in other words, giving space for the platform to run advertisements. For a monetized channel like Mr. Bros, consistency is the key. Not to mention, YouTube is a hyper-competitive place. You can easily lose your audience to the emerging channels, and boom, your watch time is up in flames. And by the looks of it, Mr. Bro knows that all too well. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on Mr. Bro's downfall? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.